Hello and welcome back to the channel. With the Pro Evo 2018 demo coming out the other day, on the August 30th to be precise, uh, myself and Michael, since we play a lot of PES on the channel, thought that we would give it a go and give you our impressions and our honest feedback on the on the demo itself. Keep in mind this is the this is just a demo, it's an early build, so it's not the finished product. Um, within the demo there are, I think, 12 teams to pick from. Uh, Barcelona, Dortmund, Liverpool, Inter Milan, Corinthians, Flamengo, Boca Juniors, River Plate, Colo, 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 yep, Argentina, Germany, and Brazil. Uh, we played a few games before we decided to to record one. Uh, we played Boca Juniors versus River Plate. Uh, Michael was Boca and I was River Plate. So we just wanted to see how it differed from the from Pez 2017, which we're used to. Uh, one thing we immediately noticed from, um, from when we picked up the play in the demo, you can't change your formation in the demo, which is a really odd thing to lock, uh, we thought, but, you know, whatever, it's, uh, it was just a straight pick up and play sort of game. As you can see, the game looks fantastic, uh, as we stand in the tunnel, preparing for battle, as we always do. Uh, yeah, as I said, Michael is Bok Jr's, I am playing as River Plate, we're playing at the Signal Iduna Park. Uh, in Dortmund, the yeah, home stadium of Borussia Dortmund, obviously. Yeah, it's looking very lovely, very, very lovely. There's not too much difference from the opening animations from last year's game, but then again, it's... It, well, to be honest, I'd li I like the, that sort of the little cutscene kind of stuff. It adds an air of authenticity to the whole thing. So yeah, it looks fairly similar to last year's if you've if you played that, which we we played a lot of on this channel exclusively, it look it looks fantastic. I love the the new um, the new lineup sort of screens. It looks it's very clean. It's a bit it's a bit bland maybe, but I kind of like that. Well, not bland. Bland's the wrong minimalist, I suppose, is the word that we're looking for. But uh, I I quite like it. Uh, yeah, we were we knew nothing really about the new features of the demo before we played it, so we just wanted to jump straight in and play it. And see if we noticed anything specific, because a lot of the times, like companies like um, EA and Konami, will, they'll just bring out the demo and then they'll give you like a list of a hundred new uh, new things that we've added this year, blah blah blah. And so we wanted to see if we could just notice them ourselves, as opposed to being told about them. First thing we noticed from straight from kickoff, it feels the uh, the dribbling, and the and the the pace of the game feels a little bit slower. Not that that's a bad thing. I I. Turn, like, by the end of it, I much prefer it. It still feels like Pez. It still feels kind of ar the word arcades. I know that the a lot of people at Konami wouldn't like to use the word arcadey, but it, it still retains its, uh, its its traditional feel. Corners are different this year. The camera angle is a little higher, and there's no target. At least in this year's uh, in the demo, at least good hit. As a big save by the keeper. Um, but I, I like the new um, new setup at corners. It look, it, it's a lot more natural kind of camera angle, I feel, as I give the ball away, which I do a lot, because uh, I'm not very good at the old pevs. Uh, so yes, the, uh, you notice as well, the there's two markers above your player's head as Michael comes forward here. Let's see what he does. He's going to dither about. Play it back. Jeez, Michael, get the ball in the box. Patient build-up play, headed away. Um, yeah, there's two markers above above your head now. There's the your obviously your color marker, which indicates what player you're currently controlling. And there's a like a clear marker above above your other player's head. That is to indicate who you will pass. To. If you hit the pass button, that's who it's going to go to. That's the next kind of selected player that the AI has selected for you, which I really like. I think that's really cool. It took a lot of it took a little bit of getting used to. Because then it took a lot of our focus away from who we we're actually controlling. But once you get used to it, it's a, I think it's a really good addition. As I come forward, I give the ball away. Again, what a surprise. But I really like the, the feel of it. It's It feels different enough that you... Oh, what a tackle. What a tackle. It feels different enough so you can tell that, it's, uh, that they've made it some sort of change to, the, to how it plays. As I come forward again, can I keep it in? No! As he plays it back to the keeper. 
So yes, there's another little um, little cool thing that they've done this year. Uh, during the games, they play. They have a lot of um, in-game stats, such as like uh, they'll compare. Oh, good tackle. As um, for example, they if you have like a defensive midfielder, say they'll compare the two in regards to interceptions and uh, tackles completed and passes completed and stuff. It's it's really cool. It's really like it's very authentic. Michael was having an absolute blast looking at that stuff. He, to quite a, to a disconcerting level, to be honest. <laughs> Felt like I had to leave the room for a moment. Now, of course, you have your... There we are, pass is complete, the pass percentage. As it's headed away. Have it on the edge of the area, and again, dispossessed. Ball out wide. And I am kind of arson about. Passes out wide. Good ball in. Nips ahead of his man. Bosh! 1-0 River Plate. Fantastic build-up play from myself, because I am fantastic in every way. Did we see the replay? No, we don't, because Michael was kind of annoyed and just wanted to crack on. Uh, but yeah, we played a good maybe three or four games. Really, each game felt felt different. It was really, really fun. Uh, that's the thing about... Um, good ball in behind as he gets it across, and he's headed it wide. Uh, that's the thing I find about Pez, to be honest. Like, I, 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 I enjoy playing FIFA, I really do. I probably play FIFA more than I play Pez. But I can play Pez for a longer period. If there's the there's the stat, the, the distance dribble stats, which is I really, really think that's really cool. Um, yeah, I play Pez for a long... When I do play it, I play it for a longer period of time. Like, I could play it for a couple hours. Because it's just... I think it's more... It's more fun, which is... Which is... A, a, not it's a harsh criticism it's not really what I mean to say as we pause the game for some reason there we go um, fun because I, I do have fun playing FIFA it's just it's a different I just kind of get after maybe about an hour that's that's I've had my fill what a ball <laughs> that's the thing as well about Pez in this uh, at least in this demo uh, through balls are OP as fuck like uh, which is I really enjoy because that's uh, I like to play that style of, of football when I play football games. But, uh, so yeah, there's 12 teams to pick from in the demo, which is quite quite generous to be fair. And you can um, adjust the the time so you can play full 10 minute halves. It's not like some other demos where you only get to play two minute halves. Good ball in, good save. And uh, so yeah, that's really that's really cool. The dribbling, you definitely can feel the difference in the dribbling. Because last year, I felt like yeah, you couldn't really take on play. Like you couldn't like drop a shoulder and go one way with a change of pace or something like that. But in this, you really can. You, it really feels a lot more fluid. And the ability to do a lot more things. It's a good ball out wide. What's he going to do? He's going to drill it. Drill it in, hit it away. Comes back out, volleyed, bang! What a finish! <laughs> That's an absolute stunner. A fine goal just before half time. No, it didn't annoy me in the slightest, not one bit. But yeah, we were we were having the best the best time just just sitting play. We played it for about maybe got a good two two and a half hours. We sat and played. And uh, enjoyed every minute of it, and I'm really looking forward to the to the full release as well this year. Because a lot of uh, oh, oh, he's in, he's in, he's put it wide. Um, a lot of option files apparently are being released on the day of release this year. Unlike last year, was maybe you had to wait a week or so before any decent option files came out, which is kind of annoying because then you pay full price for the game and you feel like you've got a an incomplete game until someone goes through the time and effort to make all their uh, all the option files. Paused it again. Don't know why. Yes. Well, it gives you a chance to have a look at the uh, the range of stats that are available. Don't know why we paused it. This is bizarre. It's not like we were doing. It. It's not like we had any any immediate distractions. But there's a new yeah. The passes and passes made. I really like. So you can. Who's bossing the game? There we go. 
Fernando Gago, who is my always my go-to in football manager if I need a defensive midfielder. But yeah, it feel it does. It's um, it's a lot more fluid this year. I feel like you can you can do a lot more in regards to dribbling. And we have hit halftime. One one at halftime. Uh, spoilers, by the way, this game is going to amp up something fierce. <laughs> as we go into the second half. And it's got the one-man kickoff this year as well, which is cool. Well, that would be... It'd be annoying if they didn't have it. As it is the actual rule now, so there you go. Uh, if you've watched the channel for a while, and you've watched the rest of our Pez videos, you know that I rarely ever beat Michael, so... I was optimistic at this point. Lovely ball with the outside of the boot. And typically, I give the ball away yet again. Look at the pace. The sheer... You can't deal with that pace. Ball in, headed away. You can deal with that cross, though, because it was pretty pretty poor. But there's a, there's a lot more... Uh, this game is very end-to-end... -end. I think it's like a ten more like a tennis game. He somehow managed to get through there, I don't know how, until finally someone sticks a foot in. Hey, you see what I say about the the long balls or the through balls? And it just held up just enough and then he skips past his man, gets the ball in. Comes out. Now this was quite the <laughs> I I did apologise to him after I scored that, but inside I was secretly delighted. <laughs> Because I really didn't deserve to score that. Because <laughs> that was, yeah, fortuitous. But I will take it in my quest to finally beat this man at Pro Evo. Straight from kickoff. Back on the attack. That's how we do it at River Plate. But yeah, it's very, um, it's very just pick up and play, as Pez always is. It's very, anyone can kind of pick this game up and get something out of it, I feel. So he plays it in. Great save by the keeper. I feel they say that again, like they say every year keepers are improved every year and you never really see it. But this year it genuinely felt because like in last year you even you can even see it in some of our the videos we have up on the channel that um keepers are prone the keepers are prone to making some some rudimentary errors. I thought that was a pen. <laughs> but played advantage and he smacks it in off the post. I was furious. I would have happily taken the penalty. Because we are terrible at penalties. That and we wanted to see what, if the penalty system had changed this year, which it hasn't really. It's still it's still the same. Which is fine. Which is fine. Instead of just going and completely overhauling it for no reason. Nice piece of build up. I've absolutely cleaned him there. And then played on. Smacked it in. Off the post. Irritating. But yes, back to the keepers. Um, like they would make some rudimentary errors, like instead of just, I need like make an easy catch, they they punch it or they drop it right into the opposition pass. You just run and just pop it in the back of the net. Whereas this year they seem to be a lot. They're, plus they're a lot more difficult to beat, at least than the games we played anyway. Great tackle. I thought that was a fair tackle, to be honest, but our last referee wants a word. It is lovely shade of uh, of referee shirt. No, oh, actually, well, on second thoughts, perhaps a free kick is uh, is warranted. Then the uh, the free kick system is pretty much again the same. No point in if it works, why bother messing with it? But uh, no target this year to to get it like to gauge. Anything. Maybe they'll bring that in in the full release, but they don't have it in the uh, in the demo. And there's another thing as well. You can defending. You can bring the keeper if you tap triangle. You can bring the keeper off his line, which is kind of cool. And I'm lining this up. Ah, it's smacked into the wall. That's another little thing they've added as well. I think FIFA had it last year where they would, once you hit the the, uh, the free kick, the camera will stay behind the player uh, until the ball either goes in the net or hits the wall or 
goes out of play for a goal kick, which I really, really like. Because uh, FIFA did do it last year, but then like as soon as it hit, just before it hit the net, it would the camera angle would switch back to the, the default angle, and it was really it was quite kind of jarring. So I like the fact that it kind of that it stays in the one place. Oh, uh, more stats, more stats, more delicious stats. That's a terrible tackle. An absolutely awful tackle. Can't remember what happens here, but if I remember rightly, it's it's an absolute demonstration on how football should be played. It's Fernandez plays it. There we go. One touch football there. That, for example, that's a kind of overpowered. Alario's in and pops it away. Lovely piece of play, but again, the uh, that's the one thing about the three balls, which kind of it could be a bit jarring, like the uh, or a bit irritating in some way. Like as much as I, if you, if you're attacking and you play that ball, you absolutely love it. But if you're defending that ball, and your defender just watches it go past him, you'd be uh, rightfully irritated. Michael's rattled now. He's given the ball away. Great through ball there. You see, the defender should have stuck a foot. Like, I have the game in my sights. And I put it wide. I put it wide. I could not believe that I'd missed that. Considering I had the exact same chance not two minutes ago, and I put it in the back of the net. Tried to be a bit too cocky and just bend it in the top corner. So with ten minutes to go, three two up, loving life. Having having the crack. Thinking I'm finally gonna beat this man. No through ball. I'm in again. Take it around the man. Bend it wide the post. Two chances to kill the game. Two absolutely glorious chances to kill the game. And I miss both of them. Possible foreshadowing. Forward, have on. One, round one, round two, round three, bang, what a finish. <laughs> and that is that's a fantastic just this we can't do anything about that. That's another that's the what I was talking about with the dribbling earlier on. It's a lot you can do that sort of stuff. Whereas last year it felt very kind of rigid, I guess is the word. But this year it's a lot more fluid, a lot more smooth. You can run you can change direction a lot easier. And you can go on those kinds of runs. I wish he hadn't, but he did, and it was brilliant. So 3-3 three, three with five minutes to go. But we were having as we were having the best the best crack. Playing like the, it was just really fun, really fun demo to play. And I if apparently it's I think it's out in mid September. So it's a lot sooner than I would have thought that it was coming like eighteenth of September, I think. I'm probably wrong. I have to check that. But if that's if it's a nearly built game already, then it's it's just a case of putting the icing on top of it and making it. Mm, excuse me. <coughs> on the arse end of the cold. Um, yeah, if they just add one or two little things to it, I think it's gonna be it's gonna be great. It's gonna be a fantastic game. Brilliant ball out wide. Ninety first minute. Gets past my man. Dink in the box, first time volley, bang, absolutely devastated. I was devastated. It's a great finish, no doubt, but I was abs I was furious. I was so angry, because I missed two absolutely guilt-edged chances. And even though it was a demo and we had nothing really to play for, when you're playing against somebody, you still want to win. And that's, that's a great finish, to be fair. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> lovely, lovely camera angle. And if I remember rightly, that is the last kick of the game, and it is. He was running about the room like an absolute idiot at this stage. But yeah, overall impressions of the demo, really fun. Can see the improvements that they've made, and I cannot wait for the full game to come out.